Hello everyone, today I will show you the development of my colony on and around Duna. It is still in the early stages, but it's constantly growing. Right now, you can see a launch of a truss that will expand the docking capabilities of Duna Station. It allows to dock seven large modules and will be mostly used by refueling crafts. Its freight profile includes aerobraking around Duna, so it doesn't require much fuel after the transfer burn is completed. Off it goes, and we'll see it again in several months. Next launch is large refueling craft, which will be the first new module that will take advantage of improved capabilities of Duna Station. It will, as well as the truss, use atmosphere to perform air braking on arrival to Duna system. During the transfer burn, one of the engines suffered from malfunction, but luckily six remaining engines had no problem in finishing the burn and the payload was injected to proper orbit. Final launch we are going to see now is a Duna base, a core module of a future colony. It consists of a main hub with laboratory, nuclear reactor, active radiation shielding and supply storage that will keep a small crew alive for a couple hundred days. It's not much, but it's a good beginning. A small crew shuttle has also been launched during this window, but unfortunately I haven't recorded the launch. But don't worry, you will see it arriving to Duna. The first module to meet with Duna is the truss. As mentioned, it will use its inflatable heat shield to safely enter the atmosphere to slow down. A precise trajectory has been planned so the vessel should easily enter low orbit using its thrusters uh, just for correction burn and raising the periapsis after braking. The temperature of few parts has reached an alarming level, but luckily everything ended up fine. The heat shield has done its job, so it's being jettisoned. We can see the maneuver of raising periapsis and planning the encounter with the station. We are getting closer and closer, and finally, we can confirm that the truss has performed a successful rendezvous. The next objective is a rearrangement of the station modules. Fuel tanks that have arrived during previous mission will undock uh, to free the docking port for the extension. During docking I wanted to position the truss in a way that all of the ports will be in a suitable position for accepting future modules. One of them ended up having a little space, but I have already thought about a small adapter that will make it more accessible. After attaching the truss, fuel tanks need to redock to the station, but this time using freshly added ports. Of 
of course, only just now I have realized that I have docked the tanks the wrong way, so I had to redock again. We don't have much time to admire our creation, as refueling craft is arriving as well. With such amount of extra fuel, we will be able to refuel our lander many times, so we will be able to visit the surface of Duna and Ike quite often. Now we can really see the potential of this extended station. Final craft to dock is the before mentioned crew transfer ship carrying a replacement crew of 3 Kerbals. And last but not least, Duna base has arrived. It takes the direct descent approach, so it lands without making the orbit first. Using inflatable heat shield is a perfect way for landing such payloads, as it creates huge amount of drag. After slowing down to subsonic speeds, the shield is discarded and the rest of the landing is done by sky crane. The plan was that after touchdown the sky crane would be jettisoned and would fly away from the base safely, but the malfunction of the engine made it uh, take a bit more risky trajectory. But after all, the result was a success. And here it is, the beginning of the permanent colony. It is how Kerbals became an interplanetary species. Thank you everyone for watching, please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and see you again in my next video.